Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Equalite 103. Uh, if you haven't guessed, the very end that uh, Gobbler is playing with today is Arrows, hence the Arrow Storm in the middle of... I have no idea what this is. Like, feels like some kind of event room, something with lines, and uh, I guess some kind of projection there in the back. Um, now, I guess like some of you, I just can't quite give up equality cages or shifted lines, etc. once a week. Uh, but, you know, here's a weekend that's passed without any of them, so we're going for a Monday puzzle, and that would mean the Equalite puzzles, which are generally a lot more approachable. Um, I think enough said. Let's just take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets. So, we have Equalite cages, 103, Arrows by Gobbler, I think I told you all of that, then we have the following set of rules. Normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits 1 to 6 once each in every row. Every column in every 2x3 box. Fairly standard. Equalite cages. Cages must have an equal number of low digits, 1, 2, 3, and high digits, 4, 5, 6. It also has to have an equal number of even digits, such as 2, 4, or 6, and therefore an equal number of odd digits, such as 1, 3, or 5. So that would be an appropriately pencil-marked equalite cage. Then we have, of course, the arrows and the arrow sum. The digits along each arrow must sum to the digit in the circled circle, and digits may repeat on arrows. So if this 2, for example, has a 4 next to it, well, these two cells on the arrow sum up to 6, and therefore inside the circle would have to be the sum, the 6. That's all the rules we have for today. So, if you want to play along, all right, I really should stop doing this. I start mentioning that and I'm already like racing ahead trying to solve it. If you want to play along, link will be in the description down below for you to enjoy. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So, box five immediately caught my attention. Equality cage, equality cage. That means that these two are also an equality cage or equalite cage. What's also interesting is that these two cells are actually relatively large. So, for example, the minimum I can make it, given I have to have a low digit and a high digit, would be 1 and 4, forcing a 5, forcing a 2. The next one along, after the 1 and 4, is just too big. So, you know, 1 and 6, for example, that gets me to 7. 2 and 5, that gets me to 7. It's not a digit I would be able to write in here. So that is definitely 1, 4. That is definitely a 5. That is definitely a 2. And this is a 3-6 pair to complete box 5. So 1-4 in here. Sorry, I'm just thinking about this. I mean, we essentially know that there is 2-5 and a 3-6. Do we actually know that this is 2-5? Let's think about it. If there is a 6 in here, it would need a low odd digit, and it can't be the 1, and it can't be the 3. So I think that has to be 2, 5, and the arrow sum tells us which one is the larger of the two digits. So that's 5, that's 2, that's 3. You know what I meant. Uh, that was 2, that was 5, 6, 3. Excellent. Also another 6. These cells are now known. They are 1, 3, 4. That is not a 3. We'll keep going. 3 and 6. Oh, hang on. We seem to have another 2, 5 in the column column four. So my options are, if I put a four in here, well, I would need one or three. Well, the three is not available and the one would be gone as soon as I put a four. So that is again, two, five. That would be one or four. You're not going to make this a one because that would require one and zero on here. So that's four, that's one. And these two cells are two unique cells. Obviously we are allowed to have the same digits on the arrows, but obviously not in the same row. So to get to four and two cells, that's got to be one, three. This is low and odd. This would have to be high and even, and it's not four. That's a six. This is uh, going very quickly. Two, five, of course, a bit of Sudoku. Where's this two, five in row two? That can't be in here in this box. That's two, five. That five tells me that's a two. That's a five. That's a two. These are four, six. Can't put a six on an arrow because otherwise that would be six and zero. That's four, that's six. That can't be six. So what's greater than four and less than six in this Sudoku? That's gotta be five, that's gotta be one. Uh, I think we're basically 
done at this point. That's one. This is six. This is two. This is three. Um, one and three both work, so not necessarily resolved. Here in, we need one and three again. That three tells me that's the one, that's the three. Oh, hang on. That's the one, that's the three. That's what I meant to say. That's one and three. That's four and one. Excellent. I have two, five, and a four. Uh, not resolved, but we can resolve this six. We can now resolve the four, the five, the four, the five, and the two for the finish. Fantastic puzzle. I mean, I would call these like pre-gas puzzles. And if you remember, I used to like the idea of having a much more approachable puzzle for Tuesdays, just for people that are into them, but maybe some of the ones that I'm featuring are a little bit hard. Um, but three minutes, that's not really very satisfactory. So what I'm going to do is uh, do what I did last time, which is start with the next puzzle. So that was Equalites 103. Um, I'm going to hit back, go for Equalites 104 with region sum lines, and uh, we can take it from here. Um, it's a bit popular, 754 solves. So it could have been featured elsewhere, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Um, I'm not going to re-explain normal Sudoku rules, 6 by 6 Equalite cage is not going to re-explain that. The new variant is region sum lines. So digits along region sum lines have the same sum within each box that line passes through. If a line has 1, 2, and 3 in one box, and only one digit in another, it has to be a 6. So let's demonstrate this, for example. If this is 1 and 2, they're adding up to 3, therefore this would have to be a 3. So that these two cells that are on one seg segment of this region sum line sum up to the same value that's on this segment, sum up to the same value that's on this segment. That's the rules. And uh, with that said, I'll make sure that there is a second link down below for you to enjoy. And I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on with this one. So yeah, same thing that we did with the previous puzzle. This is a minimum of one and four. And I think the next one along, because of the fact that you always have to have odd or even, means that the sum is always odd. So if I don't go for one and four and a five, the next one along would have to always be seven. So that's five, that's one and four. That means these two cells have to add up to five and it's not one, four, this is two, three. If that's two, that would be five, which is not allowed. That's three, that's two, that's gonna be a high even digit, so that's four or six, and uh, we clearly have a break-in. Low digit in here is clearly a one with four or six to be the even high. That would mean that's not a one, that's a four, that's a one. That's not five, so this is not one, two, three, four, or five. Look at me doing Sudoku, six. This would be the four, therefore, this is not four, this is five, excellent, excellent, and three, three, no, Five, excuse me, and two and three in here. Okay, uh, what's next? Shall we think about this one? Less interesting because, you know, it's not an inequality cage. This one, one and four, I mean, the five is in here. And something that's quite different about equal like cages is once you place a five, the only low even digit to match the high odd five would be a two. So that's entirely forced. That means this is a three six pair. And we clearly need this region sum line. I just don't know what how to use it just yet. So let's think about what's on here. Clearly not five and six. So it's one, two, three, four. And can I get away with one and two? I think I can. I could do one, two, I could do three, I could do one and two. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a problem. So I've not really materially limited this, to be fair. So this region sum line is basically all that's saying is that these two cells are the same. And they're not three, four, or five. But it can still be plenty of things. They're one, two, or six. So uh, I am missing something that would make this a little bit easier. Normally when I say that, it's Sudoku such as no fives, no fives, is a five. So these two cells have to add up to five and they're not two and three. This is one and four. 
Uh, this could be 2, 3, and it could also be 1 and 4. So 2 and 3 would be this way around because of these two, and then 1 and 4 would also be possible as such. Whereas 5 in the box 5 can only be in here, which gives me 2, gives me 5. That 2 is removed from here, removed from there. It gives me 1, 6 pair in column 2. That's a 4, that's a 2. Therefore, this has to be a 3 to add up to 5. 1, 4 pair. Obviously, that means that's another 2, 3, and it's not 3. So that's 2, that's 3, that's 2. Haven't resolved these yet, haven't resolved this yet. Uh, 1, 4, or 6. In fact, let's try that bit again. This is 3 or 6, it's not 3. That's 6, that's 3. That's 1, that's 4, that's 1. That has to be repeat. 1, 6, 1. And we're basically on the home stretch now. So 4 and 6, that's 4. That's 6, that's 6, that's 2, that's 3, therefore that's 6, that's 3, that's 1, and for the finish, that's a 4. Fantastic puzzle. Um, really enjoyable to be able to breeze through something, especially after like a couple of the weekend ones where, you know, it was hard thinking for half an hour. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's a good way to get the weekend started, and uh, see you back for the next video. Bye-bye for now.